they arrive to an adoring crowd. International Committee of the Red Cross buses full of freed Palestinians. And as soon as they set foot in Ramallah, the West Bank's largest city, they received a hero's welcome, surrounded by the flags of Hamas. Tearful family reunifications between a mother and the teenage son she hasn't seen in four months. And the family of 27-year-old Wala Tanji in the Tokaram refugee camp outside Nablus. Inside, her extended family welcomed her back. She told us today her homecoming felt bittersweet. It's a mixed feeling between happiness and sadness because of all of the people who have been killed in Gaza. We lost a lot of women, children, and innocent people in Gaza. Years ago, the documentary What Walla Wants chronicled her dreams to join the Palestinian Authority's police force. These days, her dream is instilled by her mother, finish her education. I have a lot of things I want to do. I have a lot of dreams, ambitions, and I want to achieve my mom's dream. My mom's dream was to go to college and study political science. But right now, those are dreams deferred. In August 2022, she was arrested outside an Israeli checkpoint in the West Bank. Israel accuses you of trying to shoot Israeli soldiers at a checkpoint. Did you? I deny this. They stopped me while I was with my friends trying to visit one of our friends to congratulate her on her wedding. They brought us to the jail and accused us of trying to kill some Israeli soldiers. She ended up here, Ulfur Prison. And she says after the October 7 terrorist attacks, conditions inside got much worse. They treated us in a very bad way. They threatened us that they would rape us. They prevent us from having food and water. After the 7th of October, we lost everything. We lost our rights. We lost our privacy. They hit us, kicked us every day for 49 days. Israel denies mistreating prisoners. It wasn't the first time Tanji or her family members were arrested. She was detained in September 2017 for scuffling with prison guards to protect her brother, who himself has been arrested. Her mother served eight years in Israeli prison for helping a failed suicide bomber. Tanji does not deny or denounce her mother's actions. Was she guilty of that crime? I do not find my mom guilty because she resists any occupier who stole our lands. And we have the right to defend ourselves and to resist the occupier and get our land back. And we deserve to be free. She even praises the Hamas October 7th terrorist attack that killed 1,200 people in Israel. At that moment, I expected our lands will be reclaimed back. And God willing, it will return because it's our land, our right. Well, for Palestinians, prisoners is an issue that affects almost every family. Noor Oda is a political analyst in Ramallah. They're seen as heroes because they've, they've been able to withstand the process and the uh, experience of being uh, in prison, um, in Israeli prison. Uh, these, these experiences are very harsh. They're very lonely. There are no rights. There's no contact with the families most of the time. Israel currently holds more than 7,000 Palestinian prisoners. 2,000 of them are held in administrative detention without charges. And of the 300 Palestinians whom Israel identifies as possible releases, one-third are under 18. Most of the kids and the women who uh, will, would have been released or will be released have not been charged and have not been tried. All of them would have gone through the Israeli military uh, court system. Since October the 7th, Israeli-Palestinian clashes in the West Bank have increased, and Palestinian human rights groups say Israel has arrested some 3,000 additional Palestinians. Amassing more Palestinian prisoners is also viewed as Israel's way of having more bargaining chips in these negotiations. And now that the truce has been extended, those negotiations can continue. Each day, Hamas is committed to release 10 more hostages, and Israel to release 30 more Palestinian prisoners. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Nick Schifrin.